hi everyone welcome in this video i am going to show you how to find maximum and minimum values in array let's go to pycharm now here i'll create new python file i will name it as max and minimum elements in array so there are multiple approaches we have so let me show you all the approaches the first approach is to writing the logic so let me just have some code here let's say input is arr which contains uh, some values so output should be 50, 20 is a maximum output similarly I need to find the minimum should be 4 so the maximum element and minimum element should be printed so that's my requirement so for that what i can do is first of all uh, let me just uh, create an array variable let's say arr equal to so here i'll just add some of the values let's say 1 2 3 4 5 and I want to find which one is a maximum value inside this. So to do this, uh, first approach is I'm just going to show you a logic approach, how we can write a logic for this. So first we need to assume the first element is a maximum element. And uh, I'll just save max is equal to ARR of zero. So ARR of zero means zero representing an index. So this is a zero, one, two, three, four. So zero representing index. So error of zero means the first element I'm considering as a maximum. So after that, what I will do is this number, the first element I'm comparing with the each and every element. Let's say one is compared with the two. If one is greater than two, one is greater than two, then we have to have this one in the same place. Now again, compare this one with the three. If one is greater than three, then have the same place. Again, we need to compare one with the four. If one is greater than four, then you have to say same place. Suppose if you find some any other number which is greater than one, we have to swap it. So for example, let's say one comma two. So if I compare these two, one is less than two. So we have to add these two. We have to consider these two as a maximum number. And then again, compare these two with the next numbers. Now two compare with the three. So when you compare two, three, three is a maximum number. So let's say assume maximum is a three now. So again, compare three with the four. So within three, four, four is a maximum number. So consider max is a four. Then again, compare four with the next number. So five is a maximum number. So finally, five is a maximum number. So how we can write the logic is first we need to assign the assume the first value is a maximum value. Then we have to read each and every element. Compare this element with this maximum value. If you found anything is maximum than this max value, then swap it. So let me just write a loop statement. So how many times we need to repeat this loop depends on the number of values. So we need to find number of values. But uh, to do this, we have to use a length method. Let's say len of arr. So this will find a length of a array. I can store that in a variable, let's say n. So n is representing number of elements. So now I'm going to write one for loop for i in. I'm writing a range function. I need to start from one to I start from 1 to n and after that because the first element I'm considering maximum so the rest of elements we have to start so when I say 1 means 0 is eliminated so 0 element we are already considering as a maximum so here we need to put one condition let's say if ARR of i so i representing an index i ARR of i which is greater than max value whatever we specified above which is greater than max value. Suppose if I take the first value from here, take this value, which is greater than this maximum value, what is the current maximum value is one. Then what should we do is we should replace, let's say max is equal to AR of, ARR of I. So when we should do this, if this particular value, whatever we capture from the array, if that is greater than the maximum value, then assume that value is a maximum value. So replace our maximum value with the new value. Suppose if this condition is false, still our maximum value still remains the same. So again, it will go up and get the another value. And if it is greater than the existing max value, then if this value is greater than the existing ma uh, maximum value, then replace it or else leave as it is. And again, get the next value four and uh, compare that value which is greater than maximum value. If it is greater than, then make this four as a maximum value or else leave this and again go to the next iteration, get the last value. If this greater than maximum value and again replace it. 
finally once you complete this loop this max variable contains a maximum value so i can just directly print this value the same max so this will print maximum value now let us run this now i say 5 is a maximum value i can also add uh, some random numbers let's say 20 i'll make it as a 20 here i'll make it as uh, 30 here 30 20 let's say 15 here and here i'll say 30 and here i'll say 10 so now i have a random order right so now when i run this code so 30 already there i'm just making as a 40 so when i run this code so now it is giving 40 as a maximum number okay so similarly i can also find the minimum number the lowest number so how we can do this is very simple let's have the same array again here this is for finding max element finding max element and now i am finding minimum element I'm finding minimum element so for that what you can do is let us assume minimum element is a first element let's say minimum is equal to error of zero now first element i'm considering a minimal element and we compare this element with the next element if this is lesser than the next element let's keep the same place if it is not lesser than the next element now you need to interchange it similarly we need to compare that number with every next element so for that we have to write first we need to find a length of length of an array let's take a minimum uh, let's take n so which is length of an array let's say ar of len of ar so this will find a length of an array so the first first element consider as a minimum length of array now we need to write a looping statement so i can use the same loop here only the difference is we need to consider if a of i less than the minimum element less than the minimum element then we have to assign this element into the minimum variable okay and then finally we will have minimum variable which contains a minimum value so what this condition means is whenever we get this element if that is a lesser than the previous element then interchange if it is not lesser than the previous element and keep it as it is and then compare with the next element all right so now when i run this code minimum so it will print exactly minimum value is 10 so maximum value is 40 minimum value is 10 so here i can just print maximum maximum element is maximum element is max and here i will print minimum element minimum element is minimum all right so now let us execute one more time so now maximum element is 40 minimum element is 10